Um, you know, it's funny. Everybody says, I don't want to be political. I'm not political. But yeah, if somebody asks them, they say, well, I'm a Democrat. Have you ever asked somebody why they say that? Usually they say, well, because my mom or dad was, or especially if they say Republican and they're poor, because uh, I got to tell you, people don't even know what, who they're voting for. Um, their top runner is Mitt Romney now, and I, I urge y'all to look up Latter-day Saints. Um, I know church and state is supposed to be separated, but we all know it hasn't been. I mean, look at Kennedy and the Catholicism problems. So, anyway, look up Mitt, Mitt Romney, look up uh, Latter-day Saints. Latter-day Saints actually means they're the saints after the government. This government, they prophesize is going to end and the LDS Mormon religion will take over. So anyway, that's my first rant. Second rant, here in Florida, I don't know if it's as bad as other places, but uh, I'm on pain management. A lot of people, you know, actually not a lot, maybe one or two of you will say, well, get off those painkillers or whatever, but like I said, all fibros are not created equal. Um, Unless you know somebody's story, you really can't judge. Um, I've never put my whole story down, even though I've done a lot of videos. And uh, still getting about 10 letters a day, and I'm sorry if I haven't written you back. I've really been trying to, especially the people that are really trying to find help. But there is help out there. i got to tell you, when I started getting sick in 1996, there was nothing out there. Um, I want to do a whole video thing on this stupid things doctor said to me, you guys will die. And even now, you know, I'm disabled. I was in bed from 2004 till, um, I've been in the studio since last July. And even now it's like, uh, you know, you wake up every three hours in pain to come over here to work. It's like, okay, I'll just watch one more show. I'll just watch another show. I can get up. Okay, I gotta walk the dogs. Now I really gotta get up. Because, you know, a lot of people think they understand what we're going through, but they don't. I mean, remember all those things that you used to love about life? Uh, let's go to two of the easiest ones. Number one, eating. Oh my God. You know, you wanna be a good partner if you're in a relationship, or you wanna feel like you're a real person every once in a while if you're at home all the time. Someone suggests going to a restaurant. <laughs> you have to say, oh yeah, that sounds like fun. And then you have to, you know, work on your brain and your mind and your body to be able to get up and try to look good when you go out so you don't feel like a total loser. And then if you look too good, of course, people say, oh, you look too good, you can't be sick. So, anyway. Well, I have trouble sitting more than five to seven minutes um, my hip will go out or my feet will go to sleep um, you know I, I along with the fibromyalgia chronic fatigue or whatever the hell they think I have now muscular dystrophy um, I was in a lot of accidents um, I had three or four concussions because I was a cowgirl got into a Harley wreck when I was in Utah, I went over a 300-foot cliff. All that stuff is in either my blog or the other videos, so I don't want to go into it. But I know what pain is. And if I didn't need to take pain medication, I wouldn't take it. problem in Florida right now, and I'm, I think it, it's all over, is law enforcement and politicians didn't do their jobs. Okay? They let... Anyway, in Florida, they let uh, these big places come in, big warehouses full, and they shipped them all over. And in Florida, they didn't enforce their laws, so people out of state could come in and fill five or six or seven or eight prescriptions. And I guess people probably could here, too. I don't know. I didn't do it. It's enough for me to get up every month and go to my doctor 
that takes a lot out of me. I have to rest for two days afterwards, especially when I go to my pharmacist that I've been to for the last seven years, uh, Walgreens. Hi, Walgreens. If you're with uh, any pain problems, fibro, ME, lupus, whatever, switch from Walgreens. They cut me off after seven years of never having one problem with my prescriptions. I know some of you will write back with your whatever. You know what? I shouldn't focus on you guys at all because whenever I look you up, you've never done a video. If you have fibro, it's been for a year or so. You haven't lived with it since you were a kid. Your grandma didn't die of it. Your sister didn't kill herself. Your younger brother didn't get ill and fall down. The rest of my family has it too, but of course they don't talk to me. I've been alone since 2000. Uh, I think basically with my mom because I uh, no longer could work as hard to send her money. So why should she talk to me? So anyway, some people think it's us feeling sorry for yourself. It's really not. It. You just you know you get to a point in your life when you truly have been disappointed by everyone in it. I mean, the days that I lie in bed and I can barely walk my dogs or, you know, feeding myself, even if my partner leaves food for me, that doesn't mean I can get up and put it together on those days. You know, you find out truly who in your life you should keep around. And I got to tell you, then you even feel guilty that they're there, so you want to let them go so they don't have to deal with it. And I know a lot of you guys aren't like me. I'm a major loner, and I've got my art and my writing and my dogs, thank God. Some of you need your family around, but you're going to have to realize they're never, ever going to understand what you go through. Even if at one moment they do, and then you guys go out and have a good time at the movies, well, the next day they're going to get confused again about you got up to go to the movies, but you were unable to, like, do the laundry the next day. So, I don't know. I got to tell you, the politics is ridiculous. Um, I don't care what's going on in this country. We've got Republicans and Democrats, and I don't know how to call myself either one because I've got different ideas about everything. You know... I'm gay. It'd be nice to get married, but that's not the biggest problem in our country right now. And that's not what should define whether you vote for a president or not. And what does it really matter if all the presidents are coming from Yale and those big schools? They're probably run by the damn corporations anyway. You know, I'm 45. When I was a kid, you couldn't um, have commercials from pharmaceutical companies. Lyricus and Balta, all the brain altering drugs. Some of you don't have your children on that you haven't even looked into. That stuff made me want to kill myself even more. It made me not, not artistic. It made me someone that didn't give a shit about anything, and that's what they want. Who's they? I don't really know. I don't really believe in a big plot or anything else, but I do believe that life is so hard and so quickly paced and it's so hard to take care of your home and your family and yourself and especially if you're not healthy it's even more difficult. But you know things really are political. The price of gas. Um, I haven't noticed a, a, a gas station that was owned by somebody independent a long time of you. We're supposed to be the greatest country because people can start their own businesses and they're not in a caste system and they don't always have to be low class or middle class or whatever class it is. Actually, we're all low class except for, and I'm not going to call myself a one percenter, the teabagger thing. You guys really should have picked a different name. Come on, that was ridiculous. <laughs> okay, the teabaggers. And where are they now? Now that all of their plans have gone awry, I don't see you guys in front of Publix or Target anymore. You should at least, you know, go up on the, the, the sidewalks and, you know, 
show your asses so we can go like that instead of honking like you wanted us to. All you guys got to realize is we're all Americans and everybody's suffering from one way or another. You know, I went into Sprint. Okay, if you have a Sprint phone, you're going to pay 150 to 180 dollars for the same service you get if you get Boost and Boost and Sprint are the same. So Boost it's 49 dollars a month. Sprint, most people are used to it. They think they can't change. People don't want to change. They don't want to look into it. But think about, you know, saving 70, 80 dollars a month for the same service. And I walk into a place to, to get my uh, girlfriend's phone, and there's six guys sitting there. They're younger guys, not cute enough for them to, like, stop and, you know, give me any service, of course. And uh, she took the phone in, and, of course, I wasn't feeling well, so I said, I should have gone in with you because the guy said, well, we have to reboot the phone. She didn't know that meant that she was going to lose all of her contacts because, you know, a lot of people over 45, they don't use computers if they're not, you know, in that type of business. But then you get these kids that have not been trained well by Sprint or whatever company because they get rid of all the people that may have thought of that action. You know, uh, you know the, the people that are smart, that are intelligent that demand a higher salary they got rid of all those people so they could give the the guy at the top a lot of money and all you guys are okay with it I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat you're okay with it what's going on with pain patients if I walk into a pharmacy and the pharmacist doesn't like the way I look with the problems they're giving them about my pain medication that has been prescribed to me by my doctor for the last eight years that I've never had a problem with, they can look at me and decide, oh, maybe we shouldn't give it to her. Maybe she's a drug addict. I'm walking in the black, always been a little bit different. Some, some Boca woman can walk in in her suit and, you know, they're going to give her the script. She's got her high heels on. And she's the one that's giving them to her friends or selling them. She doesn't need them like I do. But uh, now pharmacists can make that choice. And the government can make the choice on how many they're letting go to pharmacies. Doctors, doctors that are good doctors, that know that some people do need pain medication. If I didn't take it, I wouldn't get up out of bed. There, there would be no way to. And I'm going to be without it now because I followed my contract and I followed the way I'm supposed to do things. And Walgreens bought Bioscript Pharmacy and um, they decided to drop me as a patient because I'm only using the pain medication, not using the Lyricas and all the rest of that stuff that would cost about 15 times as much as I'm spending now. God forbid I save the money and don't want to take a drug that makes me a damn... <laughs> anyway, Michelle's starting to rant and rave. I love you guys. Thanks for your letters that you write to me. You help me so much. No one's going to help you. You have to help yourself. No one's going to learn something for you. You've got to look yourself. Don't think your family's going to start being there for you if they haven't been. It's all on you. And you know what? It's a great lesson because life is all on us. I mean, we have all these churches saying, well, come in and do seven or eight Hail Marys and it's okay that you fornicated or you envied or whatever else you did. But just do these seven Hail Marys, give us some money, and you're all right. Everyone here in the United States and the world, we all need to take responsibility for ourselves, for our world. And if I take responsibility and I do things right, I shouldn't have to pay for other people's problems or law enforcement that can't uh, keep what's going on. You know, law enforcement in Florida, a D agent was working with uh, one of the sheriffs to take the pain medication and ship it up north. That's one of the reasons that they're really watching it down here because of the warehouses and things like that. 
But why should someone that follows the laws have to be penalized? Because the people in charge, number one, do not enforce things correctly. Number two, don't even know what's really happening. And now they're trying to take the place of the doctor and saying who gets what. You know, that's a political issue. And I want you guys to all know all this this campaigning and stuff, how can the president do his job? Because he's got a campaign against everybody. You know, at least in England, I think they only have like a six or eight months time that they can campaign. Wouldn't that make sense? So the person that's actually in office does their job instead of campaigns and looks for money. Because you know it's all about the big dollars. It's all about the big dollars. Next time you are watching TV and you hear one of those commercials um, for Lyrica or Cymbalta, when I tried both of those drugs, I got every one of those side effects that they see at the end. You have to go back and make it slow. Do it. Because guess what? When you have to go on it someday, you'll probably get them too. So don't judge me. Do something and, and help our country better. And don't hate your fellow American because someone says they're a Democrat or a Republican. We're all Americans. Fiber, hell, Michelle, I'm just sick of it all. <laughs> you know, tomorrow I'll make one that's nicer or next week or whatever the hell. But tonight, disgusted. But I love you guys. All right, bye.